Uh, game two of Five Spirits versus Sydney will start. It is an elimination series, and Five Spirits are only one game away from being out of this close qualifier. They did lose earlier in the day versus PSG Quest. And now they are on the ropes, considering what happened in game number one. Hinnany are the undisputed favorites. Dota, what, what would be the equivalent of a ball is round <laughs> for... Uh... Well, what, how did we think of the same thing at the same yeah. time? <laughs> uh, I wanted to uh... say the ball is round, anything can happen, you know? The map <laughs> is square, anything can happen. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty much the same logic as the ball is round. But we just all kind of live with it. Is that a saying or, uh, in the world or, or like... You think it's only ours? Let's, let me check. I mean, I never heard someone... I mean, it's probably not the ball is round, you know? Yeah, the ball is round means anything is possible during a match. No outcome can be predicted 100% in advance. Oh? Oh, yeah. You're it quick is, at uh, Google. It is a global sentence. The battle begins. Huh? You're probably just laying in your chair and typing with one finger, not even wanting to lift up your entire arm, so... It's, uh, it's only probably. natural that... Yeah. But... It's hard to tell. I mean... Again, five freaks will not put Abel into the mid lane. A bit weird, but yeah, it's their choice. So after they lose, they they, they will not have a right to complain. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you uh, did this to yourselves, for sure. So if Abed is not playing his preferred position, we'll see how you uh, how you deal with that one. Stupid Cat versus Freak in the mid lane. It's going to be so easy for an Ember. The Coddle already loses the uh, the mid lane and we've already seen the big difference in strength between these two players so i'm uh, i'm looking forward to see if coddle can uh, do anything in that lane kiraso gets the ignite onto the two of them so that's uh that's gonna be quite nice but a lot of hp on both of these heroes are you a ogre fan i mean yes i don't like playing it but but i'm a fan oh, i hate playing ogre I mean, the, the, the Kira Soul, he has 130 wins on his profile total, and he's playing Bridge Doctor Ogre. Like, it makes me think he's really like a, like a new player, like literally. Like, that, that's how, like, my, my friend that start playing Dora, that's the heroes they play. Like, Ogre and Bridge Doctor. I would usually, if a, a friend starts playing Dora and he asks me what to go for, I give him a lion, just to understand what? the concept what? of spells. What? What lion, man? He has a po point and click spell, has a damage spell, has an AoE stun. Uh, do you it, tell it him to get a, two plate mails and a blink dagger? Uh, no, because I haven't. It wasn't in the meta. The shard didn't exist when uh, when I was getting my friends hooked on Dota. So uh, nowadays I would. And the, the, definitely nowadays, if I had a friend starting Dota today and like, what should I play? I just. Lion, Shard, Link, two plate mouse. Actually, this uh, Brewmaster is farming really well. The Blood Grenade doesn't connect. He Ooh, still has blood. Fairy Fire there on Unfazed, running away. One more Nether Blast, and that's the first blood for Five Spirits. We might have rotten, uh, rotten him off a little bit too early. Abed, he might not be in the mid lane, but he gets the first blood either way. Mad Frog, Blood Grenade connects. One more smack from Kiraso. And there it is, he gets himself a kill, but he is gonna be in a lot of trouble now versus the Timber. Remember, he's now a strength hero. Dyer's courier has been killed. Timber are very dangerous around the trees. I mean, Abed, mid lane, not mid lane, he's still making first blood jack, just like in the old days. So he's not to be written off so easily as you said, but still top lane, 16 CS, 40 CS for Isla on the Luna, still farming well. All is fine. Two for one for the Fire Spirits. Yep. Fire Spirits are winning in terms of kills. And in terms of CS, the Coddle is winning versus an Emperor. I have to say I wasn't expecting that. Of course, some of those might be from the jungle, but... That's, uh, how do you, that's weird. How do you call Fire Spirits that are dominating the game? I don't know. Fire Spirits. 
Okay, I'll leave. And uh, the okay. tiny will get caught here in the bottom lane. Uh, just uh, recovering. Uh, I'm recovering as well. Uh, hopefully our viewers do. Eldon stands his ground, claps the ground as well there. The Thunderclap actually allows him to Abed. run away. They miss so much. And Abed wants to go for unfazed yet again. He's ignited the, the Nether Blast, gets the kill, and Isla cannot get the uh, get the return. He might actually get gone on if he's not careful. Still running forward. Thinks he can fight this one, kills Abed. Now fighting versus Eldon. He did have the stick charges, has the healing Lotus as well, but he's missing so much. He got the drunk. He wants to run away and he won't. He turns around, whoa, punches whoa, whoa, him in the, the face. Screen? Even he can two get it. Nope. Easy, easy. Oh my God. Literally two HP. Nice play by Isla. Living on the edge. Uh, he could have missed that right click though. That was a, a possibility, but that is why you should have courage. Have courage, and uh, you uh, you will prevail in the end. I mean, being a bit drunk does give you a courage. So. Ah, that is true. That is true. So it was the uh, it was the brewmaster that actually made him courageous enough to uh, to stand his ground. But for a very long time, the uh, the master hasn't been CSing. Stupid cat runs into the illuminate. Not the uh, not the smartest of moves. In the uh, water room, there there will be another illuminate. He doesn't oh. dodge it. Three. What? What a play! Uh, well deserved to this. I mean, regardless of what happens this game, you know they might have gotten stumped first game, but this game they're basically doing much much better in all three lanes especially in the mid lane yeah if if we remember the previous game what happened and how it looked it was the supports of hinani having more cs than the uh than the cores of fire spirits avalanche toss freak he does use his ulti has that spirit form just stands his ground versus mad frog maybe you should move yourself away there a little bit dodge to the left and gets one more right click to get the kill stupid cat does find him however so finally the ember gets his revenge <laughs> It will be a kill for him but, and a reader, so he's gonna be right on the track. Do you know that every single line that the Ember has, has only four words in the sentences? I don't know, but I know you, you could be making this up. No, no, no. Speedy rune of haste, right? That, that's what he says. Deceptive rune of invisibility. Uh, that's and it's always four. It's always four words. Ah, there's the eclipse. No more sun. No more light. It was nighttime to begin, anyways. But either way, Eldon will be uh, dying once again before hitting his six. I think he says really trash invis rune. Oh, look at this. They are ready for this wisdom rune. Yeah, they are. Bad Frog running in. Oh, Alan's gonna connect, oh. but Alan, it was on top of it. He does secure it. Here comes Freak. They want to kill Mad Frog, but it is gonna be Freak that gets him. The uh, the Black Dragons did their best. They weren't able to finish him off. And still, even after all of this success in the laying phase from Fire Spirits, Hin and E are, uh, are still ahead. The, the difference between the Luna and the Brewmaster is way too big. I mean... This way or another, I'm just happy to see them adapt. You know, last game they lost both Wisdom Rooms and they were getting... Like, at this point, they already were like super insanely behind. But this time, like, they oh, we bring even both supports and a mid laner to Wisdom Rooms. Like, 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 they are seeing problems and they're trying to solve them. And it's, it's kind of working so far. Although Luna is the, the highest net one. Let's say uh, a team like Fire Spirit hires you to coach them. Like, how do you even start? Uh, from the beginning, man. Every time someone says how do you start, they always go from the beginning. From the draft. Okay, what's the beginning? I mean, you start from the draft and you start from some basic concepts like, like which items to start with and why. Then like how to play lanes and then like you move forward. Like, we might be not, might, we might not pass like a 
first seven minutes of the game for like months, but you know, that's where you start. Uh, that is where he starts. Solar bind on the tiny holding it in place. It's gonna be a very nice avalanche. Tries to dodge the illuminate. Will be successfully doing so. Ember there, he died to the damage of the nether ward from the Pugna. So, uh. So very unfortunate. On face, however, he is gonna be slowed down. That's so much magical damage that he's gonna have to deal with. And, uh. He doesn't deal with it too well. Just goes down. Freak. So far, so good, you know? Rotating left, right, and center, soul killing the mid lane, only one dead. I mean, he's carrying high spirits right now. He is in a pretty him? uncomfortable. Uh, no, 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 you didn't. You are still not strong enough to uh, cast a curse somebody. Abed gonna be using the life drain, making sure the freak has a lot of his HP back. They're gonna continue to outpush this uh, mid lane. Mad Frog and Abed say hello to each other. Did Mad Frog not understand that there was a Pugna next to him? He seems to uh, not have been paying attention. I think he, he spaced out a bit. We'll see a smoke from three heroes to the top lane. No Luna though, so only unfazed with his 26. It should be an easy kill, but feels like they were looking for the Luna. They might still uh, they go are. For him. I mean, look at where the Luna is. She's so I far know. away. Yeah, face Solar Bind. Awesome to rush. Through awesome the portal. To rush. Awesome to rush. Oh my god, that would be so cool. Uh, Roche is still killing him. Spirit Festival will finish him off, Roche. Oh, Unfazed, he wasn't expecting that. Oh, my horse is nigh, and so do I. Uh, I mean. Imagine, I mean, the result is the same, just he could have done it himself, you know, but he probably doesn't even skill point in blood, blood in life. Yeah, I guess so. The okay, uh, bottom lane is being to defend bottom. Yeah. yeah, running in with the Brewmaster, he has the split. No Midas just yet, really, his lane did go disastrously as Mad Frog is being chased down the second. And they get some slow on him, TP away, goes for the split and... Uh, that's the saddest four pandas that I've ever seen. They're just gonna be rolling over like real pandas. Maybe they find unfazed, lift him up into the air. The Pugna is coming over, but Lil One is in the vicinity. And uh, pulling him in with the Astral Pull. Pugna will come over, and the split is done. Unfazed taking some damage there from the Nether Ward. He will try to suck out the life out of the timber, so has to be somewhat careful. Has one charges and the healing lotus. And here comes Mad Frog from the other side. He has come back from his base. To, uh, finish them off. Abed goes down, but not before they finish off the uh, little one timber. And Freak could be next on the menu, trying to run away. Slide of his chains is looking very much dead. Will do his best to finish off on phase, take him with him, but that illuminate not nearly enough damage. While well, Kiroso trying to run Avalanche just on the edge of it, they catch him and easily get the grab on the fourth hero of Five Spirits that will lose his life. It was good until this fight for the Five Spirits, but. They get a bit ahead of themselves. They get caught in the triangle. Almost turn for two, only for one at the end. And now it's 4k lead for Team Himini. Himini is, uh, is starting to get the lead. Getting this tower low. Isla has to run away. Mad Frog on the other side. He is gonna get solar bound and nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Fire Blast does connect and with all of the magical damage going his way, Shukuchi finishes him off. The crap on the bench. He might be baiting. Life Drain, not enough. That's an amplified damage rune for Cat. Just bringing in the hurt stun onto Luna, trying to survive. Not gonna be happening, stupid cat. You might need to get yourself back to that remnant, though. Far God is already waiting for you there. And he uses up most of his mana. Now has it back to go to the remnant. He understands that the Weaver is waiting for him, so he's just gonna use another slide of fist to do as much damage as he can before he kicks the bucket. Well, both Luna and Ember dead. Wonderful turn of events by five stars. Five spirits, sorry. Maybe five stars in the future, who knows. And they're also getting to the Midas and Brewmaster. They are still not out of this game. Two second split, will he get forced? No. Mad Frog waits with his spells. And it's still, it is looking like a much closer game here between five five spirits and Hineni. Now I'm gonna be calling them five stars all the time, but uh... 
No towers have yet to fall on the side lanes for five stars. They did lose the uh, mid lane tower earlier. They do have a lot of like early tempo heroes, both Weaver and Call. We already said like they, they do quite quite well early. There's gonna be a smoke. Ember and Tiny gonna try to find someone in triangle. And they find the uh, perfect one with the Avatos combo. You're not surviving through that one. Kiroso gets the fire blast on the Tiny, trying to club his enemies to death with Abed coming over. Why is he using the life drain all to the creeps on the side? I'm not sure that he wants to do that. There will be an avalanche finishing him off. They do leave Mad Frog in the end with the multicast and a couple of more hits from the rest of five uh, spirit heroes. He does go down. A small price to pay, however. Very nice and successful smoke from Hineni. Yes, I mean, it was a bit weird for Bagna, but after all, it's the by far best target they can get. The Coral number one network on the Radiant side. Five stars. Sorry, five. Five spirits. <laughs> five K down at minute 14. Uh, fire Blast on the Ember. Doesn't even, even go through his Flame Guard. He will be using the uh, Fireball as well, but... Or the ignite. No, the, where the hell did I get the fireball from? There, there's no such spell in Dota. I mean, fireball is definitely like. Is it a thing that he fires from his shard? Can you click on Ogre shard? No, sir. No. Please. Oh, it is actually fireball. And also. On the Ogre shard. It says, yeah, fireball. Uh, and also, mouth. fireball is the DK. Shard, I think, as well. The thing that you can Abed's gonna to die, but Freak is gonna at least kill Tiny. He splits. He he is having trouble stopping that split because nobody is even close. Maybe he can get on top of Stupid Cat. Gets him up in the air. 21 charges already has the Astral Pull. Uh, he's just gonna be running away. He understands he can't get the kill. Way too many buttons to press on the panda, man. I cannot do it. I don't play this hero. Luna. And there's the Eclipse. Follow up stun. A couple more hits. He's evading so many of them there in the uh, in the storm form. And we are on the storm stream. He is in the storm form. We also have the uh, void stream, but it is uh, it is gone for today. Tomorrow it will be back when we continue with the mana region. Still, that's a really easy pick off once again. The uh, the split does absolutely nothing. Very early shard on, on the Luna. He basically bought it as soon as the 15 minute mark hit. What, what do you think about that? Uh, I think he's going for a push, I guess. And it's fine, right? After the Manta, I, I think it might just be the best item. It's very interesting timing. Uh, I for sure think it's one of the, one of the better shards in the game. And it finally allows Luna to be strong in the uh, in the later portions of the game. Stupid Cat with the Arcane Rune. He's playing with his life a little bit. Might need to uh, run away. We'll do exactly that. Time lapse from Weaver. Gets him back up to full as they do find Eldon once again. Avalanche tossing the back lines and tossing him towards Eldon. But he didn't use the Avalanche on both of them. So a bit of a mistake on Mad Frog. He's going to get his life drained. As they do have the Spirit Vessel on the Timber Saw. The Slower Bind, Shikuchi and the Illuminate will probably be taking them down. Little one loses his life to Far God. Stupid Cat once again in a very aggressive position. The stun is there. He needs to get himself away right now if he wants to live. And the Nether Ward will not allow you to do that. Hineni, they get ahead of themselves and lose three heroes. Yeah, I mean, that's just forcing it a bit too much, you could say. Like, even Venge, I don't know if she died or if she managed to TP out fully. She actually did TP out. So it would be like almost four for, for zero. If he then deep out, they need to fight around this Luna. They cannot keep going one by one. And they're not fighting around the Luna, who is definitely battle ready. Four thousand gold ahead of anybody else. I mean, that that Luna is the difference in the gold. No, nobody else. Everybody else on the side of Hineni. I don't want to say they're under farm, but they're definitely on par with the enemies. This lie is the only one that is uh, away from the pack. Isla is kind of just playing uh, game secure mode, you know, you, you guys go feed, I don't care, uh, I'm farming, I'm gonna win this game. Makes sense, makes sense. I really like that you know how their communications are looking at the moment. Unfazed, the uh, 
double stun there from the multicast. They do find the Coddle, however, and he's looking very much dead. This stun does a little bit too much in terms of damage, especially with these glaives around him. Nobody can even come close. Light of his chains on the Pugna, starts draining the Ember. The Illusion Rune will make sure that that doesn't happen. The Crapify was used this lot. He is silenced, however, because of the madness, and Pugna very speedy dodges the Avalanche. Meanwhile, TP from Eldon does have the split, will be going for it. There's so many illusions to run through, and the, there's the Eclipse standing his ground, killing all the pandas. And you shouldn't go to China, that is a protected animal there, and he just killed four of them. That is a huge crime. Now we'll be killing an ogre as well. So you kill four pandas and an ogre, that's pretty much six heads that you've cut down. I mean, we see he answered the question to us, to me, I guess. Could he buy a shard this early? Yes, he just pops the eclipse and turns around with the shard. This ruling's just melted. Like a second, literally. Can, can the shard be purged off? No, right? Uh, I think... I would think definitely not. Okay. That would be too... Like... It's what makes I mean... the hero strong, so I just know if I would counter him. Oh, Nullifier, a uh, 5,000 gold item countering a 1,400 item. It's uh, it's not too bad of a trade. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a 1,400 item, but it's just so strong, right? It's all that. It really is. Maybe it Mad should frog? be uh, Agamem. Okay, Mad Frog getting close. Nah, he got ignited there by the Cinder Brew, and there's the Fire Blast. Luna coming forward coming back. to help his buddy, and there's gonna be so many glaives bouncing around. Avalanche is at least keeping them away. Cinderbrew doesn't do any damage if he doesn't get ignited there on Mad Frog. Luna needs to run away that Spirit's Vessel. It is very dangerous as well as the Solar Bind not allowing her to move. He does have the Butterfly, but definitely not enough damage and survivability to survive through this onslaught of the enemy's life drain on the timber. But here comes the Ember to punish the Pugna, has the Arcane Rune onto himself, so he's very, very dangerous. Mad Frog has been caught, the Weaver will fill it, finish him off. Very nice chase down. Pugna dies in the back line, so it's time for an Ember to rejoin the fight. There's still a time lapse on Fargo, so this is not an easy guy to bring down. Nice damage from Lil One, definitely not enough to finish off the Eldon. As Far God, he still has that time lapse. He's definitely going to be fine. Turns back time, still leaves the swarm onto the Ember Spirit, who has the Solar Bind on him. Now focusing on Eldon, and with the chains, the overtime damage will get the kill. Stupid Cat gets another one. Still has that Arcane Rune, so you know what you're fighting into. This is very, very dangerous. If you continue to go for it, Slide of his chains on the Weaver. He's not getting out of that fire, and this is how you deal with bugs. You burn them. You bring a flamethrower or a Spirit of the Fire, and that Arcane Rune really did make a huge huge difference in this fight bringing down all five heroes on five spirits actually did coddle survive i think coddle survived yep he did not die in this in this fight i mean still like after the perfect start and killing the luna like luna she is strong but without bkb if she gets caught with this vessel she will just die and we saw that but then they overcommit and chase and they get punished but Guess what? No BKB, what will help? It's the Aegis. Yep, and he wants the BKB as well, so during the duration of the Aegis, he'll probably have time to uh, to get the gold for the uh, for the BKB as well. I have to say, I've been very unimpressed with Lil One in this series. It feels like he, uh, against better opponents, he, he plays really good Dota, but when he doesn't feel like he can lose, he uh, he's not as strong. It feels like he, how to say, like, used too much of himself in the previous series. Oh, okay. So you think fatigue has fatigue, uh, yeah. come to him? He gave it all to Win versus Winter Bear. It was enough, and now he's just recovering. He's recovering. Luckily, he does have a pretty solid team behind him. It is daytime. Luna doesn't have the extra vision. But still did spot Abed. For now, though, we'll uh, we'll be focusing on the tier one tower on top, and probably the push will continue as well. Sir, Radiance is what he wants. Twenty-three minutes. He is uh, 
He is not even close to it as they do find the Ogre Magi. There's oh. the Manta being used. They silence only the illusion so that Orchid doesn't really come into play. Life Drain to help Kiros to survive. Not gonna be happening. Uses the Remnant. Stupid Cat gets to the low ground, but there will be Eldon waiting for him with the split this time around. Maybe they can finish off this Ember without him just crushing the fight. He has a Remnant back, however, one more to, to play with. As far God pops the BKB, goes for unfazed, losing armor rapidly there from the Swarm. Need to be dealing with it. The stun on the Weaver, and he gets burst down with the time lapse still being available. He's not gonna be able to use it. Eldon, he forgot that his ulti and the stupid cat will be giving him a tip. Here, have uh, 50 of these shards, because you're gonna be giving us 326 gold plus all of the uh, side expenses as well and that's gonna be freak being found too mad frog has been playing out of his mind when it comes to catching heroes Eldon says ping 350 dude i'm playing from you so far so far from dubai i think that's what he, he wants said to fat no, he said i think he's the one that is that far he's fat from dubai and like I think it just excuses. Yeah. What? Yeah, stupid, stupid cat, cat. ocean, no toxic, sorry, I mean props to him. Very fair play. Uh, he is uh, a very nice guy it seems. This is the guy you want in your pubs. Abed. Yeah. He, uh... I guess he's the guy you want in your pops. He's been having a solid series. Even in the previous game, he was having a pretty solid time. Stupid Cat going for Fire God, who will get stunned up by the magic missile after the time lapse. But it is time for him and he's to, uh, to get themselves out of here and go for the last outer tower, which is a tier 2 on top. Discipline? Isla is, doesn't want to die again. I mean, going for straight tier 4 is really. It can be challenging against like hero like Kolo. It's just way too much spam. Oh, Philacterin on the on the Luna. Not going for BKB at the ages. Uh, we, we, we spoke about it. You said after the Morphling, this is like the second go to Kanda here. Yeah, probably. Probably. I still can't come up with a, with another one. Maybe a right click Zeus, but Luna is uh is much much better there will be the crapify immediately removes it with the manta wants to get this tower down as soon as the tower falls we know what happens with the luna still has the aegis to work with so even if he loses his life it's not that big of a deal the uh, glaze are gonna start bouncing gets pulled by the uh by the brewmaster but only to get even closer to eldon when the uh when the split is done very hard hero to kill with all of those misses especially when you factor in the cinder brew he just cannot hit this guy. No Manta for six seconds. Very dangerous territory for Isla. He gets himself away. Swapping on the Coddle. Very much dead. Freaky needs to be holding his position and definitely wasn't doing that. Far got pretty speedy. Will be caught by the Avalanche. Nice BKB just in time not to get caught by it. Has to be running away if he wants to live. Has the time lapse closer to his fountain and will get himself to safety. Uh, not really. Ultra for Isla. He wants a rampage. They were on the receiving end of any rampage, and he's gonna be getting it right now. That's a huge one for Isla. He is gonna be very happy with it. The confidence needed to possibly get a victory tomorrow, though very unlikely considering the teams that they're gonna be playing versus as uh, Pagna buying back and Eldon back into the fray as well. Can't really do anything. They he thought he was gonna be making friends here, but Kinney, they came to play. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a GG. 26 minutes in. Rampage for Isla. I, maybe this can push them into the direction they, they can take another series tomorrow. We'll see.